Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Now with Windows Mixed Reality as well. Today we're going to do a guide for Helix Vision as well as kind of a review, not not really a full review. Uh, for those who've been paying attention, I've been seeing Helix Vision's praises with gameplay from games that are 2D and I get to play them in 3D using the VR2 Helix Vision. Uh, Helix Vision is similar to uh, Vorpix. For those of you familiar with Vorpix, there are some key differences. I'm not going to get into all the differences, but basically Helix Vision uses Anaglyph 3D and converts that to your VR headset for a full stereoscopic 3D experience. Um, the game is currently rated mostly positive and only has 20 reviews on Steam. I think that's a shame. Um, this sh should have a lot more reviews and it should be overwhelmingly positive. This is one of the best deals in VR. I rated this game, this tool, in an 8.5 out of 10. And for those of you who follow me, you should know that's a very high score for me. I usually don't give out 8.5s or 8s all that often. Uh, it's been a long time since I've given a game even a, a 9. Uh, so I, I strongly believe in this tool. It's a tool that I use very often, as you can see by my hours. I've got 80 hours so far on Helix Vision. I'll probably get a lot more than that, just because I'm something that I use. Uh, I won't say it on a daily basis, but sometimes something that I use on a weekly basis for sure. And I've been trying out several games. Now I'm going to click on my re review. <laughs> the only reason I'm clicking on it is just to show you, uh, first of all, what you should know about Helix Vision before you buy it. It's only five bucks, so it's a great deal, but it only works with NVIDIA uh, graphic cards. So if you don't have NVIDIA, it's not going to work. So there you go. If you don't have NVIDIA, this isn't the tool for you. It's not going to work. Uh, the second thing is that you can have Windows 10 fully updated. So I have Windows 10. I updated. I, I haven't rolled back Windows. However, I did roll back my NVIDIA drivers to 42531. I'm on a 1060 GTX, uh, i7-6700. So those are the specs I'm working with. With my specs, Helix Vision generally works a lot better than Vorpex. So Vorpex is just requires a better rig, but I think most people, even with people with better rigs than mine, tend to agree that Helix Vision has a better 3D experience than a Vorpix. Although keep in mind, Vorpix can have a full VR experience and that's something that Helix Vision will, will never have. So Helix Vision is a seated 3D experience. It's like watching a 3D movie at a 3D movie theater. So consider yourself playing a game with your gamepad, okay? You're not gonna be using your motion controllers with your gamepad. And it's like you're playing in a big screen 3D, stereoscopic 3D. Uh, there is a curved screen beta, and that curved screen is coming. So for those of you who, who like 3D curved screen, that's coming soon. And there's a lot of games that you can play. Now, on my review, I list all the games that I've tested out and the ones that I believe are the best experiences. Uh, those that I believe are, are, are still good experiences, but just not as good as the top ones. So I've made another list for those. And then those that haven't worked. Now, one thing you'll notice by my review is that I had lots of games that didn't work. But that I crossed those out because now they do work. So Assassin's Creed Chronicles China was a game that didn't work. And I had to figure out why it didn't work. And the, the developer, Bob, really helped me out in fixing all these issues. City of Brass is another game that just didn't work for me, and Bob helped me out in fixing that one. Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition, another game that didn't work for me, but I was able, with Bob's help, to get it to work on my rig. Um, so this is something that I strongly believe in. There's very few games that I play that just don't work. Uh, one of those is Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I've just never been able to get that game to work. Keep in mind that is an older game. And there are some games that aren't officially supported that I've tried that also just, just haven't worked. So let's go ahead and look at the Helix Vision. 
So I mentioned this is a how-to guide as well. So how does this work? So let's say that uh, this is the first time you've ever used Helix Vision and you don't know how to use it. So you start up Helix Vision the same as any other game in, in on Steam. Uh, Helix Vision by itself is not VR. So this is just regular desktop view. I don't have my VR headset on right now. I'm actually working desktop view. I'm actually looking at a desktop screen. Uh, so you're going to see this is a default view. This is the normal virtual reality where it lists the virtual reality games it officially supports. And then obviously the ones that are highlighted are the ones that you have installed. Now my list is going to look a little bit different than your list just because I've added games to this list. There is a way to officially add games to VR that aren't officially there. So don't take my list as gospel because I've added quite a few games to this list. But I know for sure that Abzu was already there. Uh, I believe Among the Sleep was already there. Assassin's Creed Chronicles China was already there. Uh, Black the Fall was already there. I know that Blasphemous is not there. So Blasphemous is actually something that I added myself to this list, but it's not on somebody else's uh, game. So this is something that's only on my screen because I added it to my profile. Uh, City of Brass is officially supported. Uh, so some of these... As you can see, there's a big list, and there's a lot of games. Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan is a game that I added. So let's say you've never pl used Helix Visions before, and you're wanting to know how does it work. Very simple. So the easiest thing, again, this is assuming you haven't done anything. I would say before you even start Helix Vision, before you even started this step, make sure you've played the game before. So Make sure this is not the first time you're playing Abzu before you actually start up Helix Vision. The thing you want to do when you start up the game the first time is start up the game normally, like from Steam, start it up. Make sure the game is full screen. And make sure you select a resolution that you think is going to work. Uh, so obviously the, the better reg you have, the higher resolution you can put on there. Uh, for Abzu, I think you're you're safe just if you have 1920 by 1080 screen desktop to go ahead and put 1920 by 1080. Make sure it's full screen. Once you've done that, exit out of the game. Now you start Helix Vision. Okay. Once you start Helix Vision, go to the game. So here we just go to Abzu. Okay. And then you click on Install 3D Fix. So that's going to install the 3D fix to your game. Now what you want to do is click on play in VR. Make sure your VR headset is ready. And then you can just simply put on your VR headset. If everything worked out of the box, it'll start in VR and you'll see in VR it's in 3D. It's like looking at a big screen in 3D. You'll be able to play the game. No issues. I have to be honest with you that Helix Vision is a modding tool. So what that means is stuff is not always going to work. For example, I've already mentioned Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. When I first installed the 3D fix for this game and clicked on play in VR, it didn't work. It didn't render to my VR headset at all, I believe. So it doesn't always work. So you got to be prepared for that. Now, I anytime I had an issue, I always posted on the Steam community, community forums, and Bob is always helpful, and he's always been able to help me. I'm kind of at the stage now where I don't need Bob's help because I've come across like every issue imaginable. And I know if it doesn't work, if I can't get a game to work, I know it just probably doesn't work at all now. So I'm at that stage now where I know enough issues that I know how to fix them, and if I can't get it to work, it probably just doesn't work at all. So I would say definitely, if you have trouble with the game, look at the community forums, read them, see what other issues people have had, and that'll really help, really be helpful for you in figuring out what your issue is. Again, make sure you run the game before you even start Helix Vision. Make sure you can run it on your rig and that it's full screen. 
once you're experienced with that, you won't have to worry about the full screen. But when you're starting out, I would say definitely make sure it's full screen uh, before you even try Helix Vision. So, you're all, although this is the official list, that this is not the only game supported by Helix Vision. In fact, there's games not even listed anywhere that you can get it to work with Helix Vision, like I've done with the Dark Picture Anthologies, Man of Eden. So with this game, it wasn't listed anywhere. I still got it to work. I added this to, to the official list on my profile. So, like I said, this is the official list. Some games that are that are installed are actually just me that I added. But for the most part, this is the official list. What what if you don't see your game on the official list? You you can go to settings. And you can change it to 3D Vision, okay? 3D Vision is also kind of known as Hacker Mode. It just means that it allows to see every game. So you can see this is a much bigger list. And you can, and there's more options here. So there's a new edit, delete, install games, all fixed types. These are were added when I changed it to Hacker Mode or 3D Vision Mode. And now I can go to all games. Now you can see when I go to all games, there's a lot more games added here. Okay. Now let's go to a game that I added myself. So let's go to, to the Dark Picture Anthology Man of Medan. And I'm going to double click on it. So the way that you create a new profile is you go to new. This will create a new profile. Then all I did was type in Man of Medan. I didn't even put the Dark Pictures Anthology. Then I put search Steam DB, Steam Database. From there, it filled out the information. So it filled out the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan. It also filled out some some of this other stuff. Okay. It's filled in the Steam app ID, which is very important. And I'm the one who actually changed this to works out of the box. <laughs> That's not really true, but I put works out of the box. And then I filled in actually Unreal Engine 4. So you can click on Detect Engine, but it doesn't really work all that often. So I find that I often have to just put it in manually. But I knew this game was Unreal Engine 4. So for the most part, most Unreal Engine or Unity Engine games will work with Helix Vision. So they don't have to be officially listed. Now. That's true for like 90% of all Unreal Engine or Unity Engine games, not 100%. So uh, there are examples of games that just don't work, even though they fall into that category. Uh, one example I can think of is Phoenix Wright, uh, the attorney game series. I tried that game, it didn't work. I kind of figured because, you know, it's kind of like a 2D drawing, it's not really 3D models. I kind of figured it wouldn't work in 3D and VR. Uh, but for the most part, I would say 90% of those games do work. Just, you know, it just depends on the game. Like if you, you see a Unity game that plays kind of like a, like a visual novel, there's a good chance it's not gonna work. <laughs> that should be obvious. But as long as you see 3D models, it should work, and some some work that have surprised me. Like for example, uh, for example, Typo Man worked. Uh, also, Blasphemous worked, and those really surprised me. So, you just never one hundred percent sure which games work. But from my experience, ninety percent of Unreal Engine, Unity Engine games do work, even if they're not officially listed. So after you put in the engine, I just put yes. Compatible to VR, that's something that I did myself, and that'll actually make it go on the official list, like I mentioned before, like it like it is on my profile. So what, what do you do next? So next, all you have to do is make sure that you follow the template. Now, Unreal Engine games are a little tricky. That's why I'm using an Unreal Engine game as an example. So the way this works is on your Steam folder, and I'm only talking about Steam, but this is the same logic for uh, for other storefronts. So I have games on Uplay. I have games on Origin. I have games on um, the uh, Unreal site. Um, and those games still work. 
there are some storefronts that I think don't work. I think uh, probably like if you have Amazon Prime Twitch games, I think those will not work. Just because they're so locked down with the DRM that I think it's difficult for that to work. Uh, but you want to follow this template for all Unreal Engine games, although the same logic applies to Unity Engine games. So when you go to your Steam folder, you go to Common. This is the first folder you'll see. It says the Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan. So that's what you put here for install folder name. Now for the relative install pass, the actual executable that you're using is not under this folder. Now, some of you might say, yes, there's an executable there, but that's not the right executable that you need. The correct executable that you need for Unreal Engine games will say win64, win shipping dot exe. That's the executable that you need. And that's actually found after the man of medium folder, which is fmg019 binary slash win64. That's uh, actually the the folder path that's after Meta Meeting. So if you see like a back, it'll like it'll be the Dark Pictures Anthology Meta Meeting backslash SMG 019 backslash binaries backslash Win64. And under this folder is where the executable is. So if you were to add this portion here to the portion over here, it would all be one folder name. So it's just like you're taking a part of, of the whole folder and just putting the first part here and then putting the subsequent parts on the relative install pass. So I hope that makes sense for you. Again, just, just look at the Steam folders and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is the same for all Unreal Engine games. So then when you go to the executable, you see here, Man of Medan Win64 Shipping.exe. That's the name of the actual executable file. And that's what you want to put for Game Launcher EXE. And then at the very bottom, you just go to Save Changes. And then it'll, it'll add this here, what you see. And then you could put Play 2D, Play 3D, Play in VR, Install 3D Fix. Obviously, once you have all that information correct, you want to install the 3D Fix. Then you want to click on Play in VR. And it should work just fine if you did it right. Uh... Let's look at another Unreal Engine game. Let's look at City of Brass. And the reason I bring up City of Brass is because I actually don't have the Steam version. I actually have the uh, Unreal game site, uh, game launcher for this. So uh, Epic Game Launcher, sorry. I keep calling Unreal the Epic Game Launcher. So let's go ahead and click on City of Brass. And you'll see we have the same logic. It's, it's the Unreal Engine game on the Epic Store. And this is the executable file here, COB, Win64, Shipping.exe. And then the folder, install folder, is City of Brass. This is the, the main folder under the Epic uh, folder. And then it's COB Binaries Win64. Now, I believe on the Steam folder, it's slightly different. I believe it's city, no space, of, no space, and brass. And I believe the Epic folder has the spaces there, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and I believe that is the case, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but that seems to be my memory, that they were slightly different. So again, make sure that it matches what you have. Uh, so again, the actual file will look like city of brass backslash cob backslash binaries backslash six win 64 here i'm just cleaning up the cob binary 64 and put it under the relative install path and that'll install the 3d fix in the right place and again after you do all that you save it and then install 3d fix and then play in vr and it should work just fine in vr there are several issues that come up. Again, this is a modding tool. Things will, will not always work correctly, and a lot of it has to do with the way that your rig is set up. I ran across several issues. Uh, if you read my Steam community forum post, you'll see all the different issues I had and how I resolved them. A lot of it was with the help of Bob. Uh, again, I think Helix Vision is a great tool. 
I hope my tutorial helped you all in figuring out how to use this tool. Um, most of these do work quite easily, but that's not always the case. Definitely recommend that you go to the Steam community forums and read prior posts about games. Uh, so if you have an Unreal Engine game and you have an issue, look at the Steam community forums and find, okay, those are other Unreal Engine games. Let me see what kind of issues came up. Or if I have a game on the uh, Epic storefront, let me figure out what issues were with that storefront. And I think that will be really helpful in you figuring out what you need to do to get your game working. Uh, like I said, so far, I've had great success in getting my games to work in Helix Vision. Uh, I rarely come across an issue. Like I said, the only games that I can say, you know, I haven't been able to get work no matter how many effort, how much, how many times I've tried is Prince of Persia. Uh, I haven't been able to get that one to work no matter, and I've tried several times. So there's just very few games that haven't worked for me. Most of the games have worked, but some of them took quite an effort, especially at the start when I didn't know what I was doing. Once I figured out, now that I know what I'm doing, I rarely ever come across an issue because I know how to fix it real quick because I've, I've seen that problem before I know how to get it to work. Um, again, this is a modding tool. If you like tinkering, if you read up on Steam discussion forums to fix your issue, and if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I highly recommend this. However, if you don't like getting under the hood and reading and trying to figure out what your issue is, this is not the modding tool for you because you will come across issues, especially when you're first starting out and, and you don't know what you're doing. Me, now, I'm like, I can get any game to work. That's the kind of attitude I have just because I've had such great success and I'm just constantly playing games that aren't on the official list or the unofficial list. And I still get them to work. Uh, because again, I'm using the Unreal Engine Universal 3D Fix. I'm using the Unity Engine Universal 3D Fix. And I just have a lot of experience with coming across certain issues and being able to address those issues. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I didn't want to make too long a video, but this is a long video. Uh, I hope you enjoy Helix Vision as much as I've had. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.